welcome to my YouTube channel. In, in the last wild update, I was explaining we'd get into wild de into depth with the uh, wild craft. No, oof. I realized I've been saying a lot wild update. I realized I've been saying wild craft. And I was like, that's a, I literally thought it was called that. I misread the word wild update for Minecraft. Now this is by I deactivate MC, and we're just gonna see what interesting new stuff is in there, and really kind of go see if we can get into detail with this. Team update was revealed, and it's known as the Wild Update. So the Wild themed update has revealed loads of new features, such as new mobs, new biomes, new blocks, and much, much more. And I'm going to be talking about them all in this video. So like this video and subscribe if you want to see more 1.19 videos. Anyways, here we go. The first new feature that will be added in the 1.19 update is the addition of a brand new biome that is known as the Deep Dark Biome, along with a new structure known as the Deep Dark Cities. Take a look. This is pretty interesting though, pretty cool. So it looks like it's underground. I mean, I wouldn't count it as the nether, but it could look like it's underground. But it could also look like it's in the nether as well. Okay, these deep dark cities look absolutely amazing. Now, as some of you know, a certain mob is going to spawn in these deep dark cities, and that mob is the warden. Take a look. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to skip past this one because I feel like we already kind of just went to the warden part. Now, just to remind you guys, the warden is completely blind, meaning it cannot see you, obviously, and it can only detect you if you are making movements nearby, but it can also smell you if you are near them as well. The warden is also incredibly strong, as it will do a whopping 15 hearts of damage to the player. The warden is about 3.5 blocks tall, making it one of the tallest mobs in the game, exceeding the Iron Golem and Enderman in heights, which is crazy so yeah it's definitely going to be so in the 1.19 wild update is the addition of another new biome which is known as the mangrove swamp biome take a look so as you can see in this video walking around you're just completely surrounded in the mangrove swamp it's just mangroves as far as the eye can see just like in real life and you have all the mangroves propped up on their roots growing in the water so you can take your boat underneath like agnes like and you're just completely surrounded by the awesome beauty of it it's so beautiful oh and i mean during the sunset every time i was testing i would actually like pause the day night cycle just to watch the sunset in the mangrove swamp it was super beautiful Okay, this new swamp biome looks absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. And with the new swamp biome comes a new tree. And that tree is, of course, the mangrove tree. Take a look. So as you can see here, this is a propagule. And propagules grow from mangrove trees. They're actually, like, ready to grow uh, mangrove, mini mangroves growing from the mangrove. And you can see here, the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. Uh, it has vines hanging down from the leaves. The propagules are actually growing underneath the leaves. They actually grow from the leaves themselves. Now it goes without saying that because there is a new mangrove tree, it also means that we're getting a new wood type, which is, of course, the mangrove planks, which look like this. They kind of look like jungle planks, but I really like the look of them. Next up in the 1.19 wild update, we've got the addition of another new feature, which is the boat with a chest on it. I've been waiting for this for so long man take a look Sea. I'm very happy with this feature. So, so that's kind of interesting. Um, 
a boat with a chest in it. Actually, that's going to be a new thing, a new, like, evolution for Minecrafters. Because especially for those who want to go and explore. Like, I know a lot of you guys will create, like, beds. And then you'll, right when night hits, you'll put it down, sleep. But you can't put it down on the ground, not with mobs coming around. You can't put it up in a tree, not with, you know, blinks. But I feel like a boat in a, like, a, a chest in a boat would help a lot more with the exploring. Because it's safer to explore by water. On top of that, well, I mean, I guess you depends if it's safer to explore water. It depends with you. Me, I think it's safer to explore with water. But on top of that, you can, there are spots, like, on the beach side that are really kind of, like, deserted by mobs. Like, so mobs won't really be around there as much. And that'd be kind of easier to cl for clearing out in a sleeping area. Next new feature we've been blessed with in the 1.19 world update is the addition of another new mob. Now, that new mob are, well, frogs. Take a look. So you kind of, kind of figured those are the reasons the lily there's lily pads because eventually they're like we're there we're gonna do frogs, but I feel like these guys are like another scrapped concept idea, and it'd be cool if they take all their scrapped concept ideas and kind of add it into each update. So there you have it guys, we're finally getting frogs after years of them being planned to be added into the game and I'm so happy about it. So the regular orangey looking frog you just saw in that clip are going to spawn in swamp biomes and the newly added mangrove swamp. Not only did we get the awesome frogs in 1.19, but we also got the mob that frogs start out as when they're born, which are tadpoles. Take a look. <laughs> So there you have it guys, we're also getting tadpoles, and I might be wrong on this one, but I believe tadpoles are going to be spawning in swamp biomes and the mangrove swamp as well. Now these tadpoles can grow up into the regular orangey looking frogs I showed you earlier, but they can also grow up into two other frog variants I'm going to show you right now. First up, we have the snowy frog. Take a look. So for example, if it grows up in a really cold place, it's going to turn into snowy frog. Yeah, as you can see here, so the frogs have kind of like two main systems. One is the tadpole system and the other one is the cold-blooded system. So the frogs are like the first cold-blooded animal in Minecraft. So you guys heard it there, if a tadpole happens to grow up in a snowy biome environment, then it will grow into a snowy frog looking like this. The third and final frog we have is the tropical frog. Take a look. So let's say you were venturing out into the desert or the jungle and you take your, your tadpole with you and if it grows up there it'll turn into a lovely tropical frog and I, what i really love about the tropical frogs is how just relaxed they look and they're like blending into the sand almost they're just so relaxed just chilling there yeah okay i'm not gonna lie the tropical frogs look like such a vibe man they look so peaceful just chilling in the desert biome i love them already the next sort of mob with all right well i'm gonna end the video here we're kind of again racking up some time i do hope you guys enjoy it we will stop here with the fireflies, I, I am going to make a part two to this video. If you want to go see this guy, it's by I Deactivate My Minecraft. And he's just kind of going over with the update. I'm, I'm surely enjoying this right now. And especially with all the new stuff they're adding, I feel like that this is going to add a new beauty to the... Um, just to the Minecraft in general, so players won't have to really, like, not only gonna play to get the loot, kill mobs, build something to increase their imagination, no, they're also gonna be there for the beauty as well of, like, the mangrove swamp or the swamp, and a lot of, and they're gonna be fascinated with a lot of the passive mobs that they're adding more passive mobs just to kind of set the at ease environment during the day instead of hunting for food during the day 
starting a farm during the day and just worrying about the night. Just kind of, they want like, intake the scenery. And I know a lot of people, since with this new update's coming out, they're going to establish, like, their buildings or their houses right when the sun sets. So, like, right where the beauty's at. They're going to try to establish houses there, which would be pretty cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscription. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.